Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you are watching me. My name is Nyabera. I'm a content creator based in Nairobi, Kenya, and I do content around cooking, cleaning, motherhood, and homemaking. Um, I've been away for a week, and uh, I want to start this video here. I think that is the best way I can put it this way. So I want to start this video here. My my room is just in a mess because I'm um, from Ushago. I arrived yesterday very late in the evening and everything is just all over. So I want to clean this space with you. But first, I will have to arrange everything, make sure everything has gone back to its place. Then we see how the video will go up. So stick around and watch this video to the end. And yeah, so let's get started. This is how the room looks like. Sorry about the background noise. I'm boiling some beans in a pressure cooker. There is too much light. It's about 3 p.m. I want to arrange all those clothes in that suitcase over there. Then the two sacks, I think they have some few things that I can with them from Ushago and that's how the bed look my bed looks like so let's start by arranging the clothes first I started by arranging all the clean shoes that had come with them from home because my shoe rack was not so dirty and once I was done with the shoes it is when I went straight into arranging all the clothes back to the cabinet because I had earlier said that I will start by arranging the clothes of which that was not the case because the shoe rack was clean and I had few shoes to arrange back. Then it's when I went to arrange all the clothes back to the cabinet. For the first door, there is where I place all my son's clothes and for the second two doors, it's where I put my my own clothes. Uh, about my hubby's clothes, I, I put on the far end of which I will just show you in a few. I also arranged this side bed drawer and on the first layer I placed all my baby's diapers 
on the second layer i placed all his swipes and on the last layer i placed anything that was extra after this i went straight into arranging my hubby's clothes something's gonna bring the change journeys we are meant to take something at the edge of space calling us to fly away i've never had anyone complete the words i say you told me the one you're with can make you feel this way I also arranged this place where I place all my roll-on, my lotions and such stuffs. I also arranged my elder son's clothes and placed them in this second bedroom.
Once I was done with arranging all the clothes and returning them to where they are supposed to be, I came back to my room, dusted it and returned it to order. But I didn't spread my bed because I was extremely tired. So I only changed the curtains and swept the floor. I couldn't even mop because I was just tired. I only managed to spread my younger son's coat because at this point he was asleep and he needed to rest so I had no option but to do it. Honestly and sincerely speaking, I, I feel these curtains are so heavy and they make the room to be very dark. At some point, I even had to put on the lights, but no. They're just so heavy. I think I'm used to the other set of the curtains, which make the room too bright and not as dark as these ones. This is how the curtains look after setting them up and they're lime green in color and I think they're making my room to be very dark. I also had to put the same curtains on the other window. While at home, my mom in love bought me some 2 kilos of peanuts, some 4 kilos of beans. Uh, she gave me a whole bunch of banana and some green capsicum from 
her farm. She also gave me varieties of mamboga that I cooked off camera, but I will show you. I also bought these green peas on my way back to Nairobi and they are very very expensive at the moment. Once I was done with everything, I then went straight into preparation of dinner. And in today's menu, you are having some rice, some cabbage and beef plus some banana stew. So the first thing I cooked was rice and this is how I cook my rice. I grate some carrots, add some oil and salt, cook them, add some rice, then some water and cook it on low heat even though this time round my rice really disappointed me because i think it overcooked i actually had to multitask because as i was doing this it was around i think around 6 30 6 40 in the evening and i was so tired so i just had to do it quickly so that i could have enough rest so i cooked the rice on the other side then on the other hand, I had to put my meat so that it could boil. At the same time, I had to cook my cabbage. And finally, I had to peel off my banana so that I could just cook everything at once. the meat and the rice were cooking i went straight into peeling the bananas and normally when doing so i normally apply some oil on my fingers so that i don't get the stickiness from the bananas i also add in some salt in the water that i will put inside the peeled bananas so that they do not turn black
at this point my rice had already cooked and to be very honest i didn't love how it turned out because it had overcooked and it was so sticky that it wasn't just appealing but we ate it regardless so the next thing i did was to cook the cabbage and i only used the green bell peppers some spring onions and some red onions Lastly, I winded up by frying the meat and I mixed it with the bananas. On the other side, I was mixing my spices, all of them together, then added some water so that they could cook together with the meat and the bananas. Lastly, I served the meal and we really enjoyed it. Despite the fact that the rice overcooked, it was very delicious and it was so yummy. That's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching and see you on my next one. Bye.